greetings from the Kasumi Children Trust. The word for the year 2020 seems to be unprecedented, and though that is undoubtedly true, for us the overriding feeling has been one of uncertainty. January in Kasumu saw all of our children at the Cherry Briarley Children's Home preparing to start new terms, most in the local primary school, with the older children joining secondary schools, colleges and some at universities. Some were hoping to begin local vocational training courses, which had just been introduced. All went well until March, when, as in the UK, concerns over COVID-19 necessitated dramatic lockdown measures. All schools and educational establishments in Kenya were closed and children in residential homes such as ours were required to go back to their rural homes with their relatives or guardians. Travel restrictions were also imposed. Yes, overnight we found ourselves responsible for a children's home in which there were no children. Our first thoughts were to ensure that the children were safely relocated to their rural homes, that our staff were kept safe and that the site was maintained and kept secure. A core staff team continued in residence at the home and remaining staff stayed at their homes, avoiding unnecessary travel. As the situation developed though, the need became clearer and many families were struggling due to loss of income and having to feed extra mouths. So Philemon and his team devised a programme to provide monthly food parcels to families of our children living within 10 miles or so of CBCH. Travel restrictions prevented us from reaching children much further away than this. At first, families came into the home to collect their food parcels, but later the staff delivered the parcels to the families giving the team an opportunity to explore the actual local situation in each home and to offer further help where required. COVID-19 continued to spread, though at somewhat lower levels than experienced here in the UK, and there seemed to be no immediate solution to the growing needs of the community. So plans were made to upgrade the polytunnel facility and to bring into full agricultural use the plot of land initially purchased to accommodate the proposed children's centre project. Immediate action was also required though, and Philemon obtained permission from the local children's department to bring into CBCH 100 children from local, desperately poor families for one hot meal each day. Pamela and Winnie will use this opportunity to assess the physical and emotional help of the children too, chosen by head teacher Alice as being those most in need. Initially, schools were rescheduled to reopen in January 2021, but recently proposals have been put forward for them to reopen in mid-October. Mm. However, many schools will not be able to meet the strict COVID protocols required, especially clean running water and adequate classroom space. And we are so grateful that the local school is well positioned for this, thanks to the generosity of you, our Kasumi children supporters. We would expect the children to return to CBCH when schools open, though this has not been confirmed and careful consideration has been given to what our ministry might look like post-COVID and in line with the Alternative Family Care Programme. We are indeed very grateful for the ongoing financial support and encouragement from our faithful supporters, enabling us to partner with the local school, continue to pay salaries to the staff provide monthly food parcels, extend our crop growing capability into the community and begin the one meal a day feeding programme for 100 needy local children. 
without you, none of this would be possible. We give thanks to our Lord, for he is good. Indeed. Elsewhere in this virtual meeting presentation is a video clip of Newton, one of our CBCH children and his mum, carrying out the daily chore of making breakfast, mainly Kenyan tea and dry biscuits. The clip is in real time and takes about 10 minutes to make a cup of tea. Please remember them each time you switch on your kettle for a cup of tea or coffee. Thank you.